the history of geotechnical engineering. From the ruins of the Great Zimbabwe in the southern part of Africa, the Great Pyramids in the scorching heat of the Sahara Desert, the dikes and levees along the Yellow River during the ancient Chinese Chan Dynasty, to the unforgettable structures of the Greek civilization, mankind has mastered the art of bending nature through ingenuity to meet our needs and progress humankind. You see, the record of the person's first use of soil and rock as construction materials is lost in antiquity. For years, the art of geotechnical engineering was based only on past experience and intuition through a succession of experimentation without any real scientific character. It wasn't perfect, but it was sustainable for those old civilizations. In true engineering terms, the understanding of geotechnical engineering as we know it today began in the early 18th century. In this video, I take you back on a journey to discover the true beginning of the understanding of soil and rock mechanics and the development of the field of geotechnical engineering. My name is Clements and this is Geotechs with Clements. For engineering purposes, soil is defined as the uncemented aggregates of mineral grains and decaying organic matter with liquid and gas in the empty spaces between the particles. Prior to the 18th century, little was known about the material science of soil. However, durable and strong building materials were in full development at this period. This meant the structures could now be built taller and bigger, becoming heavier for the foundation to carry. One of the most famous examples of the problems related to soil bearing capacity in the construction of structures before the 18th century is the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. After encountering serial foundation related problems during construction over centuries, engineers and scientists began to address the properties and the behavior of soil in a more methodical manner starting at the turn of the 1700s. Kao Tezagi, who is regarded as the father of modern soil mechanics, was born on October 2, 1883 in Prague, which was then the capital of an Austrian province of Bohemia. Though Kao Tezagi took the spotlight, some other prominent scientists and engineers came before him and made significant contributions to the field. Based on the emphasis and the nature of the study in the area of geotechnical engineering, the time span from 1700 to 1927 is divided into four major periods. The pre-classical, the classical soil mechanics phase one, the classical soil mechanics phase two, and the modern soil mechanics. During the pre-classical period of soil mechanics, prominent French engineers like Henri Gautier and Bernard Bellido concentrated on studies related to the natural slopes and unit weights of various types of soils and developed semi-empirical earth pressure theories. Studies were made on natural slopes when tipped in a heap for formulating the design procedures of retaining walls. The natural slope is what we now refer to as the angle of repose in geotechnical terms, which varies between different types of soils. As time passed, more scientists and engineers were catching up on the importance of soil mechanics studies. Classical soil mechanics phase one brought about some of the most important figures in soil engineering to date. In his famous paper presented in 1776, a French scientist, Charles Augustin Coulomb, used the principles of calculus to determine the true position of the sliding surface of soil behind a retaining wall. In his analysis, Coulomb used the laws of friction and cohesion of solid bodies. Jean-Victor Poncelet, an army engineer and professor of mechanics, he extended Coulomb's theory by providing a graphical method for determining the magnitude of lateral earth pressure on vertical and inclined retaining walls. Ponsolet was also the first to use the symbol phi for soil friction angle and developed the first ultimate bearing capacity theory for shallow foundations. The end of phase one of the classical soil mechanics period 
is generally marked by the year 1857, with the first publication of William John McQueen Rankin, a professor of civil engineering at the University of Glasgow. In his study, he provided a notable theory on earth pressure and the equilibrium of earth masses. Between 1856 and 1910, the geotechnical engineering discipline was picking up steam. This period is regarded as the second phase of the classical soil mechanics. Several experimental results from laboratory tests on sand appeared in the literature. One of the earliest and most important publications is by a French engineer, Henry Philibert Gaspard Darcy, a classroom legend for engineering students for formulating the Darcy's law. In 1856, through his experiments to study the permeability of sand filters, Darcy defined the term coefficient of permeability or hydraulic conductivity of soil a very useful parameter in geotechnical engineering to, the to this day to this day even a professor of astronomy joined the bandwagon said george howard darwin conduct laboratory tests to determine the overturning moment of the hinge retaining wall at this point in time not much was known about the load transfer in foundations in 1885 joseph valentin bosonesk published a paper representing the theory of stress distribution under loaded bearing areas in a homogeneous, semi-finite, elastic, and isotropic medium. Around 1908, Aubeck Maurits Atterbeck, a Swedish chemist and a soil scientist, defined clay size fractions as the percentage by weight of particles smaller than 2 microns in size. He realized the important role of clay particles in soil and the plasticity thereof. This marked the beginning of a new era, the modern soil mechanics. Dr. Kao Tazagi, regarded as the father of modern soil mechanics, and rightfully so, was a keen thinker, intensely focused, with a meticulous logic and a tireless worker. He was known by his peers as a flamboyant and often used his showmanship to emphasize the importance of his work. He developed the mechanics of soil because it was needed, just as Isaac Newton developed calculus to empower his studies in physics. Tezagi pioneered making dams, buildings, and other structures safe, even though they were founded on soil. This required that there be a science of soil mechanics as well as an art to soil engineering. After the end of World War I, he went on to lecture at an American Robert College in Istanbul, where he began his research on the behavior of soils and settlement of clays and the failure due to piping of sand under dams. He developed the theory of consolidation of clays as we know it today. In 1925, the doctor published his first celebrated book, Ed Bau Mechanic, or Soil Mechanics, which was first published in German language and went on to be translated into many other languages. The first conference of the International Society of Soil Mechanics and Foundation Engineering, also known as the ISSMFE, was held at Harvard University in 1936, with Kao Tazagi as the president. The organization was formed to bring scientists and engineers together and present their findings. This first conference attracted about 200 individuals representing 21 countries. The last of the early giants of the profession was Dr. Ralph B. Peck, who passed away on February 18, 2008, at an age of 95. The professor had taken courses from the legendary Arthur Casa Grant at Harvard University back in 1938. Dr. Peck had the pleasure to work as an assistant to Kao Tezagi the father of the modern soil mechanics, on the Chicago subway project. After he retired as a professor in 1974, the doctor continued to contribute to the field, working on major projects like the rapid transit system in Chicago, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., the Dead Sea Dikes, and the Heathrow Express Railway project in the U.K. He went on to publish more than 250 highly distinguished technical publications. On March 13, 2008, the Times of the United Kingdom wrote, Ralph Beeper was an American civil engineer 
who invented a controversial construction technique that will be used on some of the most modern engineering wonders of the world, including the Channel Tunnel, known as the godfather of soil mechanics. He was directly responsible for a succession of celebrated tunneling and earth dam projects that pushed the boundaries of what was believed to be possible. Professor Peck was a teacher, a mentor, a friend, and a counselor to generations of geotechnical engineers in every country in the world. This right here is truly the end of an era. These unsung scientists and engineers will not be known by many. However, they shape the world that we live in today with their innovative contributions. From the transportation infrastructure we use on a daily basis, water resources, building infrastructure, and many more. For that, I put my hand to my head and salute. If you like this type of content, please do like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.